Good morning here at 514. Time to check in with Sven once again on his African adventure. Yesterday, Sven, he showed you what it was like to track the endangered black rhino in Namibia, the last free roaming rhinos left in mm. Africa. Yeah, and today is going to show you the similarities in tracking the desert elephant. Here's what he found. Elephant tracking is a lot like tracking rhinos. It's about patience and persistence. Trackers look for clues similar to with rhinos. Is the dung fresh? How fresh? This is fresh elephant poo. You can smell it in everything, from the ones that were just here minutes ago. We walk single file quietly to get on a hill overlooking the elephants. We've spotted a couple, and it turns out there's more than just one. This matriarch is watching over the herd. And is this elephant sick or taking a nap? It almost looks like a rock, hardly moving. He's definitely well. Within a few minutes, he's up and giving himself a dirt bath. The older female also decides it's a good time for a dirt bath. Probably works well. As you can see on my lens, there are lots of flies and they are annoying. Well, the males decided it's time to get a move on and that signals to the rest of the herd that they should all get going too. They're a little uncomfortable with our presence anywhere near them. Good old dirt bath. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Can't beat that. <laughs> Seemed to work. Well, there's still a few more days in Sven's African adventure, so be sure to continue to follow along here and on his Instagram. Yeah, if you want some more behind the scenes videos, you can subscribe. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. You can subscribe. That's what I'm trying to say. To our sunrise newsletter, just head over to carolyn.com slash email. There yeah. you go. It's a fun one. See what's <laughs> yeah, happening in Namibia.